Who's the best batsman in the current generation? Coley, Smith, Root, Williamson, and why? Um, I don't think there's any big four. I think there's always other players outside of that as well. But um, I think Verrett Coley's got the, the best technique. If I told someone um, to model themselves on a particular player, I'd say Verrett Coley's got just about the perfect technique. Cricket, life, and everything in between. 25 questions with Steve Waugh. If you hadn't been a cricketer, what would you have been? Uh, professional football, yeah. Who was your favourite sibling pairing in cricket? Marsh Brothers, Chapel Brothers, Flower Brothers or the War Brothers? Uh, look, it's, uh, I, I'm a big fan of the Marsh Brothers right now. I like to stay relevant. Um, I, I play with their dad, Jeff. He's a good, good friend of mine. And I first played against um, actually Sean in one of my last games for New South Wales. Um, it was one of his first games for Western Australia and that really was the end of my career because when I first started playing for Australia I remember Sean just being born so I'm thinking maybe it's time to move on so I've really got a good interest in both uh, Mitchell and Sean. I've, I've spoke to him a few times as a mentor so I want to see those guys be successful. Which innings of yours do you think was the best? Uh, probably the 200 against the West Indies in 1995 I think. They hadn't been beaten for 15 years, we hadn't been beaten for 22 years. One all, most important test of our careers. Um, Mark and myself got 100, so that's what we trained for. Did you have any superstitions when you were playing? Uh, like, not really superstitions, but I always had the red hanky in the pocket, and that was more of a security blanket. One thing Mark War had in his game, you wish you had. Oh, I guess his um, slip catching ability was, was, was second to none, so you know he's probably the world's best um, slip catcher. Who was the prankster in the Australian squad during your career? Um, probably Murph Hughes, I have to say. Um, yeah, he was always um, a bit of a nuisance in the change room and, and got bored and, uh, when he wasn't involved in the game. And then as soon as he was getting ready to bat, you know, he was very nervous. But besides that, he was, a, he was a team character. Who's the best batsman in the current generation? Coley, Smith, Root, Williamson and why? Um, I don't think there's any big four. I think there's always other players outside of that as well. But um, I think Verrett Coley's got the, the best technique if I told someone um, to model themselves on a particular player, I'd say Virat Kohli has got just about the perfect technique. Any cricket landmark or record you had before you retired? No, I think um, when you retire, records almost become irrelevant. It's, um, it's sort of what you achieved as a team. Um, I'm happy with what we achieved over the years. Uh, I was, came from an era when we struggled to start with and we became the best in the world, so I saw both sides of the equation and I know which side I'd much rather sort of stay on. So. Um, no, I was happy with what happened. Who was the best bowler you faced? Um, it's always hard to pick one, but quick bowlers. I mean, Malcolm Marshall was amazing. I probably didn't see the, when he was at his ultimate best, but he was still an incredible bowler. Um, yeah, Ambrose, uh, Akram, uh, Murali, um, Abdul Qadir was a great bowler. So they're, they're opposition bowlers. I tend not to pick Australian bowlers because I'm a bit biased, so I'll stick with, with those guys. Your most memorable World Cup game? Uh, I think it have to be two uh, equal. Uh, both the World Cup finals were won. One in Eden Gardens in Calcutta in um, in '87, in front of 100,000 people. That was a great experience, and obviously winning at Lords in 1999. I mean, the home of cricket. So both those are very hard to, to split because '87 were underdogs, '99 were favourites, but they still had enormous amounts of pressure. What's the best thing about being retired? Uh, probably don't have to go to training career training, I mean, it's, um, it can become almost a chore, particularly after you've played a long career. Training is hard work. You more enjoy the intensity of the actual match, not so much the training. So I'd say getting up for training. One skill from T20 cricket you wish you had? Well, I don't know because I don't play, I haven't been played T20 cricket, but um, I think probably the ability to reverse sweep and play ramp shots and play all these amazing shots that we were told that we couldn't play. Warren or McGrath, the more dependable bowler? Look, that's a tough question. Um, they're both equally dependable. They're both great bowlers because they could attack and they could also defend, but um, I'd say equal. A band or singer you wish you could see live? Um, I like a Bon, bon Jovi. is a great band um, to see. Um, yeah, I'll go for those guys, yeah. If there was a movie made about you, who would you pick to play you? These are trick questions, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Just to make a fool, I have no idea, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't know when I would want, want to make a movie in my life anyway, so it's irrelevant. 1999 World Cup or 2001 Ashes win. 
which was the bigger achievement? Uh, 99 World Cup because you know we had to win seven games to get there and we started off poorly so um, that, that was definitely a bigger achievement um, and you're on the world stage it's, it's a once in you know every every couple of years event so there's, there tends to be more pressure on those one-off tournaments. Who was your cricketing idol growing up? Uh, look, probably someone like Viv Richards I, you know, I admire the way he played and the way he carried himself and his body language and how it seemed so easy to him, so I think he was probably the guy that stood out. Your favourite holiday destination? Uh, really anywhere, I, I, I like uh, any sort of place to go to, but I, I want to go to, I guess, Antarctica, a place I haven't gone to, and maybe Patagonia. Um, I like nature, so any of those sort of places. What app on your phone do you use the most? Um, Instagram, I guess, yeah. I'm not very good on apps, so I try to avoid them as much as possible, but um, Instagram. If you could watch one match from History Live? One match? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think um, a Borg McEnroe final. Your favourite ground to play cricket? Um, SCG was always great, but Lords is the home of cricket. I, I, if I had a choice to play one game of cricket, I would, I would, I would, I would take Lords. One current day bowler who would have challenged you? Well, there's probably many. Um, I think Rabada is a guy that will challenge him. I think you're going to be an all-time great bowler, so I'd say him. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, I'm not fussy, but chocolate would be, chocolate would be I guess, yeah. What advice would you give to a current cricketer? Um, think about your legacy, not the money you're going to make. One new rule in cricket you wish you had in your playing days? Oh, look, I think, um, you know, not a rule, but I don't like the fact that um, captains and administrators influence the state of the pitch in their home country. I think that's one step away from match fixing, so I think um, they should just leave it to the curator to make the best pitch possible. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comments section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.